uh, John Katko, the incumbent freshman Republican in the 24th, is continuing to say, I don't know. I'm not going to vote for Mrs. Clinton, uh, but I don't know about Mr. Trump. I don't like him. Let's listen to the latest that he told us about a week and a half ago when he talked to one of our reporters here at News Channel 9. The tone of rhetoric is, is nothing that I expected. And, you know, listen, I'm not here to, to bash him or anything. It's just my, my, my philosophy, my political philosophy, I thought was going to line up with his. It doesn't so much, but we'll see what happens. I mean, uh, he's still an evolving candidate, believe it or not. This is his first run, you know. Um, and uh, so one thing's for sure, uh, his opponent I will, I will definitely not be uh, voting for under any circumstances. But that was a couple of weeks ago talking to Andrew Donovan. Tim, just this week, he talked to the editorial board of the Syracuse newspapers and pretty much said the same thing. No, I'm never going to vote for Mrs. Clinton, but I really don't know. I can't tell you yet if I will vote for Mr. Trump or not. He's kind of trying to really walk that tightrope. He sure is. He's going to try to stay on it as long as he can. I look forward to having him on Newsmakers when I'm here because the question really is, what could Donald Trump say? that would push you either way. He's been saying this for months now. I'm waiting for the tone to change. Right. He's an evolving candidate. Donald Trump is a 70-year-old man who's been in the public eye for 50 years. Not likely to change. No. This is who he is. Or if he's likely to change his rhetoric for the purposes of the election, is that what Representative Katko wishes for him to do? So I really would like to know, is it something he could say that would be worse than what he said in terms of your own values? Is it something that could, could convince you? It seems to me that He's hoping to play out this clock as long as he can so he never has to come forward and say, okay, I oppose the nominee of my party. Because remember, in a very close district like the one in Syracuse, he needs every Republican vote he can get. Right. Right? He doesn't just need the Republican suburban votes who might not like Donald Trump. Yeah. He needs every Republican. You can't alienate them. Well, I assume that's the calculation that his campaign has uh, arrived at.